All right, so we're back with the Hardcore Iron Man. We're here at Hill Giants grabbing us some big bones, and we are going to be finishing off 40 ranged. We are also trying to get us some giant keys so we can go and kill some Obor. Maybe we get lucky, get a couple pieces of rune. At the end of the day, it's a new boss for me to learn, so it's something I wanted to do and something I wanted to check off my list. So I'm going to be using the Ecto Functus since I don't have a Gilded Altar obviously. I am not going to the Wilderness and risking this, but we are at the Charter Ship. We are picking up pots and buckets of slime. That way it makes it a little bit easier for us when we're grinding bones and we are just running back and forth praying at the Ecto Functus. I did a lot of this on mobile, like I did last time, um, but this is pretty much my life for the next hour. I don't have the Ecto file yet because I am lazy, but I will be getting that shortly. I figured right now I just wanted to get overhead prayers out of the way, so I'm going to be using up the dragon bones we got in the last episode, I want to say, from the blue dragons, and get some prayer. You can see all of the levels we got. We hit 875 total level, which is fantastic, but this is the last run I have of bones. So we'll see what we're going to get. We are just short of 42, which is kind of painful, but it's whatever. We get a thousand ecto tokens from this guy after we talk to him. Not bad. I don't know if there's a cap on it or not, but whatever. We are here doing the Holy Grail quest. I don't think I'll be able to kill this guy with range. I don't think I've hit him once. Because I've been here for a couple minutes. I don't know if range is the way to go. I don't know what our attack bonus is with the mithril armor off. But we might have to try and flinch hit him with melee. So I went to flinch hitting him as melee. I kind of like the Excalibur just because it boosts my defense in case he hits us. Okay, killed him. Let's run away. I'm not worried about the two death runes. But that took a while. That took probably 10 minutes. I hate to say it. <laughs> we are back in Camelot. We are turning in the Holy Grail quest. And this will officially unlock the Protect from Melee Overhead Prayer for us, which is amazing. Boom, 11,000 prayer XP and 15,000 defense XP. So we're even closer to our defense goals too. 44 prayer, and I, th I think there's an altar above us. And 33 defense, yeah. So we're close to 40 defense, so we can start wearing runes soon. This is the first time unlocking the protect from melee overhead prayer on an Iron Man for me and the self-accomplishment from that feels amazing, honestly. I didn't catch it in time, but we hit 40 defense. I think I was off by just a little bit, but the training here goes pretty easy. We're still trying to get as many of these keys for Obor that we can, just because the chance of getting a rune item would be amazing. This will be my very first Obor kill ever. Um, I looked up a couple guides. It seems like I can run from corner to corner. I can ensnare him as long as I protect from ranged. I think I'll be fine. I'm let my run energy go up and I'm going to mark this corner here. We'll try maybe this corner or that corner. Ah, we'll try this corner over here. I'm just going to try running back and forth, hitting him when I run to one corner. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm going to leave these. I'm going to leave this entire fight in here. So we get hit really hard at the start. And I don't like this. So we're going to try and hit him. Run. And at this point, he'll only hit us maybe once. We'll hit him. Run. He's going to hit us with range. We're going to try and ensnare him. Apparently, I splashed. I got hit for a truck. But we can ensnare him like this, and then we can just cast on him. 
So I think down the road, maybe Ancients would be really good in this guy too, because Ancients will freeze for, like what, three seconds? Four seconds? I don't know how long it is, but the higher Ancients will freeze them for a while. That makes this really viable. And we are lagging, wow. That was horrible. We are coming up on our first kill. It's a doozy. It really is. We ran out of prayer. It's not fun. But we killed him. We got death runes and giant heads. Or giant head. Not horrible. Not great. But I'll take the death runes. The death runes I'll probably use. This is kill count number two. We got 85 law runes and another insult giant head. I don't know if the giant head is 100% chance, but let's work our way for the next kill. This is kill count number three. We just hit 57 magic. We keep running out of prayer, but oh, oh, a rune battle axe. Okay, that is, that is a big upgrade from what we had. Is not what I wanted. I'm really going for like the rune kite shield or you know something else. But the rune battle axe. That's our new best in slot melee. It definitely beats Excalibur. Excalibur has more stab, but we're not using stab. But wow. Rune battle axe. We're going on kill count number four. Let's see what we get. We got more law runes. Okay, I'll take the law runes. Those are just helpful all around, you know, for teleports. We're on kill count number five. We are, oh, just got hit for 25, not good. And we got noted big bones, not bad. That'll help us with prayer later, definitely. Kill count number six, we ran out of runes. Nope, here, get out. Nope, nope, nope. I ran out of food and runes. That was really close. I was pushing that there. That, that could have been bad. We're back again and try killing him. See what we get. Cosmic runes, not bad. I'll take them just for the enchants. Nice and easy. We're going on kill count number eight now. Let's see what we get. This was a pretty clean run. I will say I didn't eat a lot. We didn't run out of prayer. Oh, a rune med helm. Okay. I'll take that. That's our new uh, best in slot helmet for melee. We look like a, we look so newbie, but it's whatever, dude. 
take what we get. We're going to end up buying the rune plate legs just because I have the rune med helm and the battle axe now and I figured we had a big enough cash stack just to spend it, you know, plus 27 in all defenses. But I mean, we're looking less of a noob. We, we still look like a noob, let's be honest, but it's less and less every day. We are finishing the event here for the 20 year anniversary. We have a bunch of stuff thrown in our face. The gnome's gonna open this door and we're gonna go through it. You notice the lobsters I carry around with me in case. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Let's see what we get from this guy. Oh. So the anniversary gear looks really cool. Honestly. We're gonna go kill some ice giants for some Slayer XP. It was our task. It's not that bad down here. Um, I do have to worry about the aggro of the ice warriors, but it's whatever. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thank you.